Hello and welcome to the Cisco tutorial videos. My name is Sergey and today we are going to take a closer look at the themes and styles of CSCard. You can find themes and styles in Design, Themes. Themes determine the general look of your store. For example, by default at CSCard we use Responsive Theme. This theme is called Responsive because... Uh, well, we call the theme Responsive because it responses to the changes of the screen and the browser. Just like this. Like this. Or like this, if you use uh, a phone or a tablet, nothing is lost. All the parts are right at their places. Now let's take a look around the theme page. We can divide the theme page into three sections. At the top we have the current theme section, with the settings of the current theme. At the right we have uh, the options and information section. And at the bottom we have styles section. The theme consists of two main parts, layout part and style part. The layout determines how the blocks of contents are positioned on the pages and style is the visual representation of the theme. Alright, let's speak about layout. We have two layouts here, main layout and widget mode. Main layout is used in browsers and the widget layout is used when you build in your store inside some other sites. Uh, for example, you sell sportswear and you build in your store on the sports site. Now let's speak about the styles. Well, I'm talking about not style, but styles, because the basic CS card already have lots of styles in it, like black, brightness, or if you want to, to make your store look like Facebook, you can choose the style for the main layout and for the widget mode separately. At the bottom of the page you can examine the styles more thoroughly. You can uh, look at the examples and choose the theme or uh, and choose the style you like. Uh, for example, I don't want to use modern style for now, I want to use Puri. I just click the button and the style is applied. Now I want to show you even more powerful instrument for changing the look of your store. For this I click the theme editor button. With the theme editor you can completely change the look of your store. You can choose styles, you can choose the layout and also you can customize the storefront as much as you want. On the general page you can change the favorites icon and uh, make rounded corners just like this with one click. Voila, rounded corners. You can also reset general settings if you wish at any moment. At logos you can choose the theme logo, this logo, mail logo that will be included in your notification emails and uh, gift certificates logo. Also you can enter alternative text, this might be useful when for example you don't have an image uh, for the gift certificates and you want some text to be displayed or you can browse for other images but uh, for this you need to create a new style uh, when you make uh, changes in uh, already existing styles from this list you will have to create a new style based on them so you won't be able to you you are able to change them but you but you are unable to ruin them. Yeah, instead of this, you create a new style based on the styles from this list. Uh, that sounds complicated, but I will show you. Colors, at this tab you can change uh, the coloring of your pages completely. Uh, for example, I would like menu to be blue, menu links yellow, so it's easy and fast editing process. Okay, fonts. You can change any fonts of your store. I want to make this links look different. This. Yeah. <laughs> As you can see. But be careful. Try to unify your style. Don't make a Christmas tree out of your store. Alright, background. You can choose a background color. Let me show you. Oh, I want 
pink. Yeah. Oh, uh, you can ask me why uh, nothing has changed. Uh, because currently the background is not uh, displayed, so there's nothing to do about it. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. But I can change uh, the background color of the top panel, for example. Yeah, this panel. This is the top panel. And the header, no problem. I can do everything I want. And you can do the same. Custom CSS. CSS are um, the visual settings that are written in the code. Uh, if you know what to do with CSS, you can uh, change the visual settings of your store manually. You can add some uh, CSS settings. If you know what to do with this, do it. And after that, I click the save button. I need to make up a name for my new style. I want to make... Oh. Woody 2. Okay, now it's saved and I can close the theme editor. Well, <laughs> this is the result of my small manipulations. And uh, I think you can imagine what are the possibilities of such flexible editor. Alright, let's move on. We are back at the themes page and there is one more button here. Edit content on site. This is a really useful button. Let me show you. Uh, sometimes you just don't want to go inside the admin panel to change some information. You won't just go to the straight to the storefront and change the name of a product. Uh, you can do so. Just click this pencil and enter the information you want to be presented. That's it. That's how now the title of this TV will look like for the customers. Now let's speak about the right section of this page. The plus button allows you to upload the new theme and the gear button allows you to clone the already existing theme. Just like this. You choose the directory, you give it a name and you give it a description and, and then click save. And you can do whatever you want with this theme. Here we have theme information, name, directory, layouts, number of layouts, number of styles, and the developer of this theme. When you change the theme, this information will change accordingly. Oh, and by the way, I almost forgot. Uh, rebuild cache automatically, off and on. When you turn it on and you make some changes on uh, the storefront, after any action, uh, the cache will be rebuilt automatically, it will not be saved, and um, it will take some time for pages to reload, but this is really useful when you change the style of your store, when you code something, and you want to see the, result, uh, the results instantly. So don't forget about this option. Well, and uh, the marketplace announcements. Uh, find more add-ons and themes in Marketplace. That's what you can do. That's it for today. Hope you liked the flexibility of themes and styles in CSCard. Thanks for watching and see you in the next CSCard tutorial videos.